you know, Louisiana ha- are releasing great products, right? And so when I'm hearing things like they're going to be able to produce, you know, 75 strains by the end of the year, I really hope in the model they focus, if they can produce 10 good strains and keep the shelves full, yeah. right, sooner rather than later, then Louisiana's market's going to explode. It's going to explode. No, right? and, I, and, I, and I do, you know, I think that that's, that's the direction it's trending in, but yeah. are we there yet? Absolutely not. Still a lot of work to be done. And yeah. I think, again, this Orion Labs in January is going to be a watershed moment for the industry, and I, I hope more labs come online. And, again, yeah. that's the great thing about the labs, right, is, you know, as I mentioned earlier, LDAF, you know, cannabis is about 20% of what they do. So it's one of the few, you know, verticals in the industry where you can accept you know you're not really constrained to the point where you're like oh i'm you know doing this schedule one activity so that means i can't do anything else labs you know you get the you get the license there's a lot of opportunity there um so but i think that that look that that with the additional capacity we're trending in that in that direction yeah no and definitely. again like you started you know it kind of talked spoke to it earlier about the you know well the vapes and the the <clears throat> the meter dose inhalers and the gelatin chewables. I mean, all those things have been consistently available. Right. And so it'll take us time to get there with flour, you know, again, and, and I know it January seems like ages ago, but it really still, still working out the case. It's-